my God, that's hilarious. It blew it clear into New Mexico. Howdy, I'm Rombo. Welcome to Arizona here in Area 51. Those aliens went back to Jupiter, but I'm still here. And I've got an alien root beer jug shooter for you today. This is the Henry USA Golden Boy. Not any Golden Boy, this is in 22 Magnum. Did you know they make them in 22 Magnum? They sure do. Thanks for sending this to me, Henry. Glad I can review it today for Guns.com. Take a look at Guns.com. You might find something like this new or used. Is that pretty or what? Every cowboy needs a lever gun, and I've got one today to show you. This is special. This is manufactured to look like the old 1866 Yellow Boy that used rimfire cartridges, outdated by today, but at that time it was the AR-15 of its time. This is modern, uh, beautiful wood, American walnut, great furniture, yellow, they call it brass light. Uh, it doesn't mar, it doesn't uh, tarnish, it just stays shiny gold, just as you see it all the time. This is a 20 inch barrel octagon, full octagon barrel. Beautiful, with semi-adjustable or semi-buckhorn adjustable rear sight. So as it comes, you can shoot easily 100 yards with this. Uh, let's flip it. Well, first of all, I'll show you. It's, it's, of course, it's empty, clear. I'll flip over and show you the other side. Uh, not a lot to it. It is a very ambidextrous gun, as always. The lever guns can be fired by left or right hand people. Magazine tube is under the uh, barrel. And sights are not quite intuitive, I think. The semi buckhorn sight allows you to put the front bead, front bash, brass bead into the notch at the buckhorn and line them up for shooting comes right to your eye. The weight of this rifle is uh, six and three quarters pounds. I think that's a good weight for a carbine. Fairly, uh, no, I don't want something that only weighs three pounds. It'll whip around too much. Six and three quarters, that's a good weight. Uh, length of pull, also standard, 14 inches. Good for the average person, like me. And uh, barrels, like I said, barrels 20 inches. It's also drilled and tapped on the top here for a scope. Should you want to put a scope on, if you have old eyes like mine, scope is a good idea. So this comes off. Now, I shoot lever gun competition, lever gun silhouette. And I'll show you my lever gun silhouette rifle. Uh, let's see, the Henry's down on the table. This is my rifle, the uh, Winchester 94 model 22M, 22 Magnum. This is what I compete with. I've modified it with a uh, Marbles rear sight, peep sight, and a front 17A Lyman to make it a little more precise. Otherwise, very similar to the Henry rifle, the same length barrel, 22 Magnum. Try to find one of these today, folks. That's why Henry is making a close uh, comparison gun to this, very close, maybe better in some ways. These are hard to find as hounds. They haven't made them in probably close to 20 years in this uh, variation. Uh, it has the uh, side ejection, unlike 94, other 94s that eject off the top, but a nice 22 Magnum rifle. So, since you can't find one of those easily, I've even looked on guns.com, and they're looking for one for me, but they haven't found any yet. So, back to Henry. Henry has the solution. If you like the shoot silhouette, I've noticed quite a few of these at the Western Nationals at uh, the Winnington Center in uh, New Mexico. I looked at them and said, that can't be accurate. But yes, it is, and it's competitive. They actually make this in three calibers, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, and 17 HMR. Hey, Henry, send me a 17 HMR, please. I'd like to test that out. Let me show you what a 22 magnum is, for those of you that don't know. Here's a 22 long rifle, and here's a 22 magnum. See the difference? Quite a bit longer. And we're shooting hollow points today, 40 grain. Velocity of this is 1,875 feet per second. That's smoking. Plus they're jacketed. Uh, all 17, or all uh, 22 magnums that I've ever seen are jacketed. And yes, there's, a, whoa, we lost our guns.com. Uh, 
a <laughs> banner blew away. It's a little windy here in Arizona sometimes. I'm going to demonstrate loading. The uh, action is open. I'll rest this on my foot so we don't scratch it. Pull the magazine tube up. Now the uh, 22 long rifle has something of an advantage in that it holds 16 rounds. Today, the 22 Magnum holds 12 rounds, but that's a lot of ammo. And the 22 Magnum makes up for that by its velocity and hitting power. And I'll demonstrate that for you today as well. This is a hard hitting gun. In uh, silhouette, uh, this cartridge and this type of rifle will compete against center fire uh, rifles such as the uh, 357 Magnum, 44, uh, 44 Magnum, and 44 or 45 Colt guns in competition. And it does very well. Uh, most shooters are gravitating towards this gun. Get that locked in place. Okay, we've got 12 rounds loaded. Would you like to see this shoot today? I would. I'd like to shoot it. Oh my gosh! Look at all those alien jugs left behind. We have a target rich environment. And we've got 1,875 feet per second, 40 grain hollow points to take care of them. I'll fire a couple of shots at the center gong and just check for uh, group size here. By the way, this comes out of the box with a trigger that uh, measures three and a half pounds. Really? Most guns are seven pounds because they make, the, make those lawyers happy. There's no lawyers here with Henry. They know we're safe. Three and a half pounds is a great target trigger. On that center target. Two shots right in the center. This action is smooth. I don't know what they do to it, but this is a brand new gun. It's not used in any way. It's smooth as silk. Let's try the swinger. I'll try that again. There we go. Doesn't quite move it to the other side. How about a headshot? Pretty good. How about the camera? Well, not the camera. Oh, I see some root beer jugs. Let's start on the right and work our way over. There's a root beer jug right there. Oh, yeah! I love it! It just blew the snot and blew the root beer out of that jug. That hollow point moving at uh, over 1,800 feet per second really does the job. There's another root beer jug. Wow! Oh my gosh! That's hilarious! It blew it clear into New Mexico. There's one on the top of that big purple rock. Oh yeah! Blew it to pieces. And one in the center. Oh yeah! Blew it up. There it is. There's what's left of that root beer jug. Still have another one left. Wow, we launched it. Oh, gosh darn it. He didn't like getting shot. He came back after me. Still have one left, one on the left. Yeah, root beer in the morning. I love that smell. We still have ammo. There's a uh, pop can on the right. Not anymore. Oh, it blew it in half. Amazing. That's 12 shots. Let's reload. I'm having too much fun to stop here, Henry. I'm going to reload. I'll be right back. All right, we're all loaded up. 12 more rounds of fun, and I have more targets out there to shoot. So, action is empty. I'm going to rack the uh, lever and put one in. There is a long shot out there, suitable for a Henry. It's probably 60, 65 yards. That's a milk bottle-shaped uh, steel gong. Let's see how good I am today. Ding! You can even see the hit from here. Look at that. Yeah! Two nice shots right next to each other. That really is easy. I make it look easy. It is easy. This is a great gun for shooting at anywhere from uh, 60 to 100 yards. In competition, 100 yards is normal for this uh, 
uh, cartridge, and the targets are quite small, five-inch rams, for example. Last year, Henry donated one of these rifles to the Western National Lever Gun Championships. And Henry, if you're listening, I hope you do again, because I want to win one. That was very nice of you. All right, we have some small targets there, some pop cans, starting on the right. Yeah, blows the snot out of them. Oh, there's some tough ones there on top of that boulder. Uh-oh, missed that one. Yeah, wow, when that hits, just sends that uh, soda all over. Yeah, knocked it right off the top. And there's one left, I think, on the left there, sitting on that boulder. Oh, it just blows the snot out of them. It's pretty good for my old eyes. I don't see as well with these open sights, but uh, Henry does a great job of putting it together. See if I can hit the milk bottle way out there again. Ding! No problem. Ding! No sweat. And the close target here. No problem. Long target. Yeah. Doesn't seem to matter if it's a 60 yards or just 10 yards. The Henry is capable and accurate. That's a great gun. Uh, get one if you like to compete or if you like to hunt or just shoot pop cans. It's a great rifle. The Henry Golden Boy in 22 mag. Thanks for watching today. I had a blast here showing this to you in Area 51. Go shooting out there, folks. It's fun. See you in my next video. Bye-bye now.